Live from the John Clark Stadium in Plano, this is Graduation 2021 for Academy High School, home of the Titans. Good evening, honored guests. My name is Lynn Ojeda, and I've had the honor of serving as principal of Plano ISD's Academy High School for seven years now. I've also had the honor of seeing your learner grow exponentially over the last four years, and it is such a privilege to welcome you to celebrate this momentous occasion. You trusted us four years ago to do the best by your child, and this is the most prestigious and wonderful celebration of that relationship that we could come around, celebrate together. We have three Academy leaders that will help me serve as Master of Ceremonies today. Our music accompanist this evening is Miss Marianne Visconti Pfeffer. Please stay seated as she plays pomp and circumstance for the processional so that all guests will be able to see and take pictures of their graduates, our Titans, walking into the stadium. Thank you.
Welcome Academy High School class of 2021 seniors. You may be seated. Four years ago, we assembled on the third floor in LS 14 through 16. And I challenged you to make your mark. And today we celebrate you and the legacy you've created at our school and in our hearts. Graduation is one of my favorite ceremonies to be a part of because we get to reflect on and celebrate all of the learning and hard work you've put in to earn your high school diploma. But more importantly, all of that learning and hard work has empowered you to collaborate and to compete in the rapidly changing world that awaits you. And I'm just gonna say right now, if you can do what you did this year with learning and overcoming every obstacle that was in front of you, you can do anything. I believe I speak for all of us here together today when I say that we are so excited to see what's next for each of you. We have gathered here this evening to observe and to engage in a celebration of every single one of you as bright, talented, and promising young men and women. You've met many challenges with grace and pushed yourself beyond what you thought was possible and what you were capable of. And I congratulate you on your resilience. Thank you to every one of you for all the ways you have given back to our campus and to our community, and in advance for all the ways you will give back in the future. You have helped shape the tradition of Academy High School, you have helped establish our culture, and you have made us all proud. Thank you. Now I would like to introduce Plano ISD's 2020-21 Board of Trustees, as well as our superintendent and her cabinet. If you will, please stand and be recognized when I announce your name. Unable to join us tonight is our outgoing president, Tammy Richards, Jerry Chambers, Vice President, Dr. Heather Wong, Secretary, Nancy Humphrey, Trustee, Angela Powell, trustee, David Stolley, trustee, Cody Weaver, trustee, and our newly elected trustee, Dr. Lauren Tyra. Sarah Bonzer, superintendent, Dr. Teresa Williams, chief operating officer, Randy McDowell, chief financial officer, Dr. Katrina Hasley, Assistant Superintendent for Academic Services. Dr. Beth Brockman, Assistant Superintendent for Employee Services. Dr. Courtney Gober, Assistant Superintendent for Student, Family, and Community Services. Patrick Tanner, Assistant Superintendent for Technology Services. And Leslie Range Stanton, Executive Director for Communications. On behalf of Academy High School community, please join me in recognizing these individuals for their continuous support of our learners at Plano ISD's Academy High School. <laughs> Events like this don't happen by chance. There's an extraordinary amount of planning and time and commitment that goes into providing you as our seniors a memorable event with your families and I would like to give a special note of appreciation to our Department of Communications at Plano ISD. Thank you. At this time, I ask for the Academy staff to stand and be recognized for their dedication and contribution to Academy High School and all of our learners, and that would include those of you in the audience who are past faculty members service providers, and members of our custodial staff. Thank you so much.
Now I would like to introduce you to the 2021 Student Council Senior Class Representative, Madeline Hart, to give the senior address. Maddie. Hello, my name is Maddie Hart and I'm the Student Council President. On behalf of the class of 2021, I would like to thank all of you so much for being here and thank you to those watching from home. Well, seniors, we made it. We made it to uncertainty and unfamiliarity and our next step forward is going to be an unknowing one. But we would not be here today with the, without the support of our friends, teachers, parents, and relatives. So I would like all of you to take a look around, turn to the crowd even, and a skipper from Madagascar once said, smile and wave, smile and wave. Now since I haven't seen all of you since over a year ago, I wanna ask you a question. Who else thought that we were just getting an extra week of spring break? <laughs> well, here we are now. Four years ago, we were these little freshmen entering high school. I sure hope a lot of you feel that you have grown over the years because telling from the projects and ideas that I have seen from all of you, I can say we've all grown a lot over the years. Some students, including myself, couldn't imagine public speaking, coming, coming in as freshmen. I can safely say now I'm much more comfortable with it thanks to the academy. <laughs> Trust me, four years ago, I would find a way out of this. I would not be up here right now. But looking back on things, I can definitely say one thing about the Academy, and that it is very unique. Who cares about football games and basketball games when we've got ultimate Frisbee and <laughs> robotics, right? <laughs> Let's face it, the only time our school was on a football field was for League of Our Own, when we built catapults and slingshots, and as of right now, graduating. <laughs> Although our school was a bit quirky, and we had a different high school experience, I would say that the school really did challenge our creativity. From watching tie-dyed pants and gear hats walking past you in the halls, to students airdropping memes, <laughs> I would say we've had some truly memorable moments. Like students walking around with pink face paint and pink hair for pink out, or showing off your talent in an open mic night along with those singing skills at homecoming. Some things I will remember, especially with songs, is Take Me Home, Country Roads by John Denver and Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond. Let me give you all some background as I was writing this speech. I couldn't remember the title to Sweet Caroline and my twin wasn't home for me to ask him about it. So my dad was like, okay, well, what do you need help with? Why do you need your brother? And I was explaining to him uh, why, why I needed him and the song, the only song I could remember was Country Roads. And he immediately, not even five seconds later, was like, the second song is Sweet Caroline. And I just thought that was crazy that he knew. So parents, I hope that can give you some insight on how popular these songs were to us. I honestly don't think that we went a single dance without singing them. We may not have had spirit chants or cheers, but those two songs were definitely close to our hearts. Over the years that we have been here at this school, the, the learners have created a safe space for all kinds of students, all kinds of students to stand out. Seeing the learners here advocate for others is truly inspiring. Some of you creating mental health talks, nonprofits, businesses, and more is why I believe when this class goes out into the world, you all will have a positive impact. Now, I know our senior year was different due to COVID. Honestly, it's crazy to think that this has lasted longer than Canvas. Um, these challenges and the fact that everyone is here today, it, shows that the students of the Academy are strong, resilient, and creative, and just so much more. Whether it be college, the military, or any plans you may have going forward, I believe the students here are leaving a step ahead in their next chapter. I would like all of you to remember to take care of yourselves during the next chapter in your life, and remember that it is not a sad day, but a day of new beginnings and a start to a new adventure. Thank you so much and congratulations to the class of 2021.
Now, if you will, please join me in watching our student live video that shows some highlights of the last four years you've had together.
class of 2021, we are so proud of you and so excited to see the things that you are going to do after your graduation. Thank you for being such an important fabric of Academy High School. And I just want to wish you the best, congratulate, congratulate you for your successful graduation, and wish you the best for the rest of your life. We'll see you down the road. Good luck with whatever you do in your future. I know you're going to be awesome. What a year this has been. Our hope is that all of the changes you've had to adapt to this year will serve you in your next steps. We're wishing you all the best. Congratulations. Academy High School class of 2021, congratulations, and I look forward to seeing all the wonderful things you do in the future. It has been an absolute pleasure and a joy to get to know you this year and to be your pre-calculus and calculus teacher. Don't forget to come back and see us, and I hope you have a fabulous summer. Thanks for everything. Um, you guys are super special to me, so I really appreciate the times and the experiences that we've had together. Um, I hope you have too. So, I love you guys. You inspire me, you're creative, you're amazing. Congratulations. Felicitaciones a mis estudiantes de la clase 2021. Woo! Felicitations a la classe de 2021. Bonne chance et à bientôt tout le monde. Congratulations, seniors! You know, people are always asking, how do you tell the difference between Mr. Stamets and Mr. Hardy? Congratulations, Congratulations class of 2021! 2021? You guys, we on three, like one, two, three, and then go. So what, I'm done. I'm done with y'all. Done. Seniors, we're so proud of you. Congratulations for all you've accomplished at Academy. Take what you've learned here forward. You are prepared, you are ready. Go make a difference. You've certainly made one in our lives. Congratulations. We are Academy High School Class of 2021. Woo! happy to see everything that you contributed to this video to bring together a very special collection of memories from these four years together. So thank you seniors and parents who helped us along the way. And thank you Maddie for your heartwarming and humorous speech. Um, this video is such a wonderful tribute to a truly awesome group of learners who have amazed me every day. One of these amazing learners rose to the top of his class, and I'm sure his family and friends are as, as proud of him as I am. Please welcome now to the podium our 2021 valedictorian, David Kellmeyer. At our graduation ceremony, the transition from a caring high school and family to a disinterested college, it is important that we reassess our current path in life and establish a plan to move forward. At turning points such as this, it's important to look to the past to find areas of improvement and look to the future for a plan on how to improve. If we don't look to the, path, in the past to figure out how we can improve, we will say our same flawed selves. And if we do not have a plan for the future, we will fail in enacting our plan. High school has done its best to inculcate us with the necessary tools and knowledge for success, along with the skills and knowledge from our parents, from our individual hobbies, uh, responsibilities, and other interests, such as analysis for understanding how the world works and interconnects, or introspection for understanding oneself and how to improve yourself. Um, there's also self-control and patience to learn 
when it's appropriate to divulge certain aspects of our minds and how to use it effectively. A sense of self to remain steady as the world rages around us. As we leave high school and forge our own lives past that, it is up to us to ensure we use these gifts and tools to ensure that we make straight our path through all its twists and turns. The time when school and Paris dictate our lives has come to an end as we become adults. We will gain much more freedom, but also much more responsibility. We can choose anything we want to do, but we must live with the consequences of what we have done. The lives we have lived will come into our own hands to do with what we will. We are the grand arbiters of our lives and all, everyone else advisors. Although arbiters of our lives, we are not almighty in power. We still have the responsibilities, duties, and consequences of our lives. And although we might like to focus on the freedoms of this new stage of life, it is important to focus on the responsibilities as well. A carefree life without regard for responsibilities of life will in the end leave you disappointed and distraught as you look back both to what could have been and to those you have failed through your frivolity. While this great weight is placed upon us, so also is given to us a great gift, those who accompany us on our journey. Although arbiters of our lives, we still need support and knowledge from others on our journey. No human is almighty, so we must surround ourselves with those we trust, supporting each other when we fail and when the world overwhelms us. Just in high school, where we learn the importance of working to our ideal life and the support of friends and family, so too must we take this knowledge we have learned and add to it. We will fail. We are only humans after all. But the great ability of humanity is not that of perfection, but of the path to perfection. We will fail again and again on the path towards our goals and our lives. But let us remember the importance of perseverance and the support of those around us. The importance of understanding why we failed and learning how to overcome that which we could not before. High school has been a proving ground, a practice for this journey, and now we must put it into action, not as pampered children, but as arbiters of our own life. Through sorrow and joy, we must journey on, with the past set in stone behind us, and our friends and family ready beside us to support us, improve, and perfect our future. With our life so far preparing us for the future, let us go out into the world to put forth our best work, to find the beauty within the world and each other, the little things we all too often miss and bring it to the fore to hone our skills and create marvels unseen to generations before, to achieve a journey to greatness. Let everything we have learned in our lives build the future, both for ourselves and for everyone we meet, rising to the expectations of those around us and exceeding them. Let us use our skills and lives to shape the primordial opportunity that is a new generation. As we go into engineering, computer science, art, business, engineering, or any of the many other paths in the world, let us work our hardest at our chosen fields to create amazing works and hone our skills to a knife's edge. Work to become the greatest to remember in history, the Nobel Prize winners, the greatest artists, engineers, scientists, and writers of our time. From cities of a new age to art that describes the path and journey of humanity to its fullest. Let us work to perfect our lives by perfecting our skills and ourselves, even if we fail to enter that smallest percent that is considered the pinnacle of humanity. We can build a foundation that was necessary for the greats to achieve their work undreamt of. Thus, eventually we'll reach the end of our journey, tired but happy, our work done, our lives complete. On our deathbed, let us be able to say, soon I will be gone, but what I have given to my descendants and to the world will live on forever. Perhaps not as the giants, but as their indispensable foundation. Thank you, David, for being an outstanding leader and role model for your peers and our school. I want to thank the class of 2021 for contributing and growing the traditions and culture that will last for generations to come and make one proud to be a Titan. In fact, choosing to be a Titan is just the beginning. At this point in moving forward, you are becoming, and you take forward those values and ideals, skills, abilities, experiences, opportunities to collaborate and to make better with you as you move forward. Your process of becoming is something that we will continue to take great joy in and great pride in in the coming years. Academy High School learners know how to take care of each other, how to take care of themselves, and how to take care of our school. 
All of our seniors are graduating on the Distinguished Graduation Plan with both the multidisciplinary and STEM endorsements. If you will, in the audience, please look at the program to see the distinction of some of our outstanding seniors graduating summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude. We also have seniors wearing special cords from various organizations that they have participated in as active members of our community and our school during the last four years. And now, what you have all been waiting for. And when I say all of you, I mean even your parents, when they held you as newborn babies in the hospital, this is one of those moments that we dream of as parents. Superintendent Bonzer and members of the Plano Independent School District Board of Trustees, I am pleased to announce that the learners seated before you have met all state and local requirements to participate in this ceremony as prescribed by the Plano Independent School District Board of Education and the Texas Education Agency. I now hereby declare each graduate worthy of the high school diploma from Plano ISD's Academy High School. <laughs> 2021 graduates, we are all very proud of you. We will miss you while you are away, but you will always be a member of the Academy Titan family. You found the right place for your high school education and now you will find your place in the world. Thank you for leaving a legacy to be proud of and for making our school better because you've been a part of it. It is my honor to welcome you to the stage to be recognized for your achievement. The introduction of graduates will be made by one of our cherished facilitators and Academy High School's 2021 Teacher of the Year, Russell Young. The presentation of the diploma will be made by our board president, who's newly appointed, David Stolle, Assistant Principal, Catherine Gashin, Superintendent of Schools, Ms. Sarah Bonser, and by me, Lynn Ojeda, your principal. Plano ISD's Academy High School 2021 graduating class, please come forward to receive your well-earned diploma. Mackenzie Ann Adair. <laughs> Tosif Ahmed Afraz. Omar El Takuri. Isaac Murdoch Alvarez. Jason Edward Andrews. Morgan Charles Austin. Alyssa Kaylee Avendano. Erlinda Isabel Azores.
Luis Alejandro Barajas. Avery Alexandra Baranowski. Anthony Luis Batista. Tristan Stephen Baxley. Shiv M. Babzar. Brian Bland. Mikhail Ray Bowen. Connor Ethan Boyle. Daniel Wilson Brubaker. Ethan Joel Buffington. Maggie Boobin and Darren. Casey Evan Calloway. Ryan Glenn Carson. Nicholas Ernest Cervantes. Crystal Sarah Chow. Benjamin Cole Childers. Rosemary Claire Chrisman. Max Jacob Clifford. Jeremy Don Coomer. Lucy Elena Diaz. Madison Elizabeth Dietrich. Roman Matthew Detoma. Nicholas Joseph Aguizio. Brock Allen Farrar. Lauren Michaela Figley. Megan Grace Pfeiffer. Dimitri Xavier Octavio Flores. Brianna Lynn Foster. Leonardo Akira Galu. Miomi Jemima Abria Garciano. Mason Michael Gilmore.
Jirel Athen Aquino, go. Alexander Matthew Gonzalez. Hayden David Hart. Madeline Abigail Hart. Evelyn Ann Hawkins. Joseph Bryant Heath. Ryan Neo Kishi Hirasaki. Sean Avery Hodo. Aspen Myra Huff. Mia Natalia Hull. Aiden James Howell. Jordan Anthony Ibanez Rodriguez. Malik Malcolm Isaac. Sanea Joy James. Sam David Johnson. Vaishnavi Kashinath Joshi. Jaden Isaac Kamen. Priya Anzuma Khan. David Joseph Kelmeyer. Aaron Kudanyan. Lily Ashby Nealon. Annabelle Pongpirat Kotabeth. Nicholas Antonio Lopez. Albert Chen Li Ma. Jillian Rebecca Martin. Garrett Kyle McCaffrey. Brady Richard McCoy. Nolan Keith Maclier. Molly Catherine McKenzie. Eric Owen Mendoza. Marisol Ariana Meza. Montelongo. 
Marcos Fabian Montalongo. Matthew Hodge Nebel. Joshua Peter Nelson. Samuel Allen Nichols. Gwen Leanne Paget. Seth David Perry. Christy Tan Pam. Aiden William Phillips. Samuel Ethan Nagami Posey. Brand William Price. Emily Ann Price. Savannah June Puccio. Asad Kumar. Leah Savannah Ramirez. Graham Brennan Robinson. Dylan Ari Rose. Ashton Brett Elizabeth Rusthoven. Sterling Thomas Sanderson. Ethan Matthew Seam. Christian Alexander Smith. Elise Marguerite Taylor. Mitchell Ivan Thompson. Alina Tuyan Vo. Sarah Elizabeth Walker. Jacob William Weiser. Peyton Elizabeth Ziegler. Congratulations again, graduates, and I would now like to welcome to the podium and introduce our wonderful salutatorian, Megan Pfeiffer. Good evening, friends, family, faculty, and fellow learners. I'm Megan Pfeiffer, the class of 2021 salutatorian. I'm so honored to be a part of our last milestone as Titans. Before ending our chapter here at the Academy, I'd like to reflect on what we built together these past four years. One of my earliest memories at the Academy was on our first assembly of our freshman year. I remember sitting on the floor of LS14 in a crowd of strangers I called my new peers. I remember Miss Ojeda saying, first years, it might not seem like it, but the people sitting around you will become your family, right seniors? I looked back at the seniors sitting in the coveted orange plastic chairs as they nodded in agreement. To be honest, my first thought was, yeah, right, I don't think that's gonna happen. 
And then again, my judgment at the time was definitely a little off as I also didn't believe her when she said we would look back and cringe and laugh at our freshman selves. Clearly I was proven wrong on both accounts as I now look into the crowd of once strangers that have now become my academy family while also cringing at the thought of our first year lights camera action documentaries. I also didn't realize how special of a community we had in person together until it was taken away. I know we're all tired of hearing about the pandemic and that the words unprecedented and you're muted will truly never be the same again, but it truly was something that had a huge impact on our senior year worth mentioning. When I'm asked about my favorite memories of the Academy, I know they're looking for answers like model UN from beneath the surface or building the Kaching booths. But honestly, my favorite times were when we would sit in friends, sit with friends and chat and joke during project time or go off campus for lunch or even just messing around in between classes. As I sat at my desk, isolated in my bedroom, staring at my friends' Zoom boxes, I found myself thinking back fondly on all the small, seemingly insignificant days and moments when we were together. And even during the time when we were forced to be apart, we didn't let distance stop us from staying connected and supporting each other through our screens. Through all of its growth and resilience, I am so grateful and proud of the caring and accepting community we were able to create together these past four years. Echoing what David said, it's important to take what we've learned from our past and apply it to our future. My hope for all of us is that we are able to take the lessons we've learned at the Academy, whether it be to not let an unfamiliar situation stop you from growing, or the importance of personal connection in person and online, and take them with us as we enter these next stages of life. I would like to end by thanking some of the amazing people that help us get to this milestone. First, thank you to all of the facilitators who have been incredibly supportive through both our academic and personal goals. I speak for all of us learners when I say we are so appreciative of y'all's efforts to create unique learning experiences and activities for us while in person, as well as working to change everything to fit into a Zoom classroom. I would also like to give a personal thank you to my parents, brother Sam and cousin Heather. There is no, without y'all, there's no chance I would be standing on this stage right now, and your unconditional love and support over the years means more than you could ever know. I would also like to say thank you to you all, the class of 2021. Thank you for being such a creative, funny, and welcoming group of people to have had the pleasure of spending these past four years with. I'm so excited to see where these next years take us and hopefully hear all about it when we come together again. Congratulations, class of 2021, we did it. Although our journey at the Academy has come to an end, we will cherish the friendships we've created and the memories we've shared for years to come. To seal that bond with one another, please stand and join me in reciting our class pledge. The words will be on the screens. Friends and family, you may turn to the back of your program to see the class pledge. Embarking on a new journey we have charged into the unknown, determined and confident in our resolve, purposed and enlightened. We pledge to withstand trials, to accept failure, to reach beyond boundaries, to innovate our world, to leave a legacy. You may be seated. Last year, some of us joined and shared in the tradition of receiving class rings. According to tradition, prior to graduation, the class ring is worn with the ring emblem facing the learner as a symbol of self-inspiration and determination. Our class turned the ring to this position at our ring ceremony last year, locking the rings together and uniting us as a class committed to graduating together. If you have a ring, continue with that tradition by turning your ring now with the emblem facing outward as a symbol to go out into the world to inspire and lead others. Thank you. I am humbled by the love and togetherness that is felt in this place this evening, especially after a year that has felt very distant behind the screens that we've all conquered. As our ceremony is coming to a close, I want to remind our guests to please remain seated during the recessional. The staff and graduates will exit the stadium first, and the graduates will pick up their graduation envelope where they checked in before 
<clears throat> meeting their guests outside of the stadium. Graduates, there's one more tradition that symbolizes you moving from a learner to a graduate, and it's turning your tassel from the right to the left of your cap or mortarboard, as we say. Go ahead and move that tassel now. And before you get to celebrate by tossing that cap up in the air, please stand. And for just a moment, turn to your loved ones who are here with us this evening. Find them. They love you dearly. They have supported and encouraged you along the way for the last 18 years. Enjoy this moment. It is yours. Family, friends, and guests, join me in congratulating Academy High School's graduating class of 2021. Graduates, you may throw your caps. Follow the line of, of a recessional. Your line is waiting. Thank you. 